Hi everyone, it's Rob and I have a mini album to share with you today and this is a super super small mini. It's only 3 by 5 inches uh, so the size of a recipe card or an index card but uh, a lot of fun and it was so quick to make. Uh, it literally took me like an hour and a half to make this uh, but what I used were these little envelopes. It kind of puts you to mind, or me to mind, of the coin envelopes that we can get in the States, but they're not good quality at all. They're just super, super thin. Um, well, I'm really zoomed in, aren't I? Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, but I knew I was covering it with paper, so it really, you know, it didn't matter. It was just a base. So I think I think what they are, I, I don't know this for a fact because we homeschool, but I think it's for people who send lunch money to school with their kids, maybe? I don't know. So anyway, this is the mini. I'm using, or I used Webster's Pages papers, which are my favorite. I love Webster's Pages. And for the binding, I used my binding tutorial, binding technique. I have a tutorial for this, and I used my hinge binding as well, and I have a tutorial for that also here on my channel. Uh, I did them, I don't know the dates to put you right back to it, but it was like the beginning of this year or last year even, I, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, um, I have a small D-ring here in the binding, and I have a swivel clasp and some charms. And I made this for my best friend, she's uh, my non-scrappy friend uh, in the States. I just, I really miss her, but she sent me a super sweet uh, card and letter. So I just wanted to send her um, back a little something extra with hers when I write her back. Um, this is just Stampin' Up! textured cardstock. I think like always artichoke for those of you that know Stampin' Up! products. Uh, some Prima Lace and just made this flower. And then this is, <laughs> this was so cute. It was totally un intentional, but uh, I looked at it afterwards and it kind of put me to mind. This is a dragonfly charm that I attached under here with some jump rings. But if you look at it, it kind of looks like the stem and some leaves of the flower. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I'm easily amused anyway, but I thought that was super cute. I added some Prima Bling the, with the clay flowers. And then this is just a sticker here that says memories and then some Prima leaves. I left everything super simple on the inside just so she could add pictures and things. Um, but this was a chipboard embellishment. I'm not sure. I think it might have been Colorbach. But I just stamped onto it. I inked up a stamp with uh, my Adirondack Gold Dabber and just stamped that on there. And everything has glimmer, mist, or um, shine on it. It's just, you know, this homemade stuff that I... <laughs> it's shimmer paint from Stampin' Up! and rubbing alcohol, which probably is horrible for your brain and lungs, but I try and do it well ventilated. Uh, anyway, so this is the flap of the envelope, and I just kind of extended it, as you can see here, with a Velcro closure here. And each one of them have a, a little tag, and they were... I think I cut all of them with Nestability's dies. I'm pretty sure, and then just glimmer misted them. And this is kind of on a, it's a textured cardstock. I'm not sure what it's called. It's not corrugated because it's not, you know, it's not, there's no air pockets in it. But uh, so anyway, that's the first one. And like I said, everything's super simple, but the focal point will be the photos. And the, the I thought too, with the Webster's pages, you don't need a whole lot of embellishments because the papers are just so beautiful. I just added, um, I add, added the, Prima lace to every one of the pages, and then you can see the you know the binding I used was a uh, craft cardstock. Again, this one, and then these were cut. The tag tops were cut with the on the edge dies, just different ones, various ones. These are Prima journaling stamps, so. and such pretty paper. I love them. Um, and then when I folded this around. I tried to be mindful, of course, of what would be on the flap to make sure it was orient orientated right. Am I saying that right? Uh, but you know what I mean. Just so it would have a, you know, wouldn't be something that's upside down or something. So, and then here's this tag. And again, cut with it on the edge die. Here's this one. So pretty. I love Webster's Pages. I couldn't believe I um, read, I think I, I do subscribe to their blog, that they have some digital papers now, so I'm excited about that. I haven't gotten any yet. Here's the tag for this one. And I use the 6x6 papers. This one, like I said, just really quick, simple. Uh, just wanted to let her know I was thinking of her. And that one. And then 
Of course, this one, the last page, I just created a little pocket with some pretty lace from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then just a photo mat here. And then this is actually on a Kane Company journaling tag. I just decided to cut off the... Uh, I, I backed two of them together and then just cut off the top with the on the edge die. And then added just a piece of the Webster's Pages there. And then um, that finishes it off. So uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. I'm going to get this off in the mail to her. Um, our post office opens again on Wednesday. So um, hoping to get it in the mail on Wednesday for her. So thank you so much for watching. Um, oh, I have a couple of other projects too that I have kind of in the works. No nothing finished yet, but um, let me move these tags. They're all glimmer misted, but I haven't finished the... Are they so pretty? I love them. I love this paper collection. It's the Once Upon a Springtime. And so this is the cover. I just added the ribbons. I punched all the holes with my bind it all and then just added some ribbons and then I uh, distressed those. And I did a whole bunch of fussy cutting with um, all these bunnies and then the flowers. They're just so cute. I just love this paper collection. It's got to be one of my favorites. And like I said, I haven't done, you know, the, I haven't finished the inside yet. Just, uh, this is a pocket here. And then I got, I think, just one of the tags done. So, and I'm not even done with that. I have a stamped image I'm going to cut out and do some paper piecing on there. Prima journaling stamp. And then I just I cut this out of one of the papers and added that on there. So cute. I'll just flip through it. But like I said, it's, it's still, there's nothing to it. Just the pretty papers. And then every other, oh, these are the coin envelopes. That's what I was going to tell you. Um, I was sent these by Belinda Akers, and she sent me a bunch of them back in July. So, Belinda, I'm finally using them. Thank you very, very much. But that was just a sweet rack that she had sent to me. And so that's what I'm, you know, these are the, the coin envelopes from her. So, and I haven't seen where we can get them here. So, she sent me enough to make at least three albums three little minis. So, and this one. Such pretty papers. This one. I haven't cut the notch out of that one yet either. So, there. And again, the pretty papers. And that's, that's it. I'm going to have a, I haven't figured out if I'm going to do a grunge board, you know, closure. I'm still thinking about it, but I did put the hitch fastener on there in case I decide to use that. It depends on when I get it all filled up, you know, how much room it's going to leave, because I didn't want this to sag a whole lot. You just kind of have a lot of gap there. So I'm still undecided about what I'm going to do with that. But it's, you know, I, I spent about an hour and a half on that with all the fussy cutting. I could have got it done a lot quicker, but um, with this paper, I just want to just make the most of it. So that's that mini. And then... Um, it's probably been three, four weeks ago that your paper pantry had their um, Christmas Ustreams and Yoli Bean had done one. I didn't get to watch it because I just kept, our internet here is not as good as, you know, we would like. And so I just kept getting bumped off and, um, but Yoli, I did catch what she was doing and it reminded me, I mean, just move this, it's not attached. I haven't decided what I'm going to do here yet. Um, it reminded me, I used to make these when I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I hadn't made one for quite a long time. I think the original idea for me came from Split Coast. Um, I'm not sure, you know, where Yoli came up with it, but um, just to make a birthday anniversary thing and then, you know, of course the uh, PDF for this. I think Yoli probably shared it, but like I said, I, I got bumped off. I only got to literally watch just a few minutes of it, and then I think when everyone was starting to come on, I got, that's when I got bumped off because of our, our internet. So, and you guys have seen this, and I think this is the Life's Journey Papers. But So I hadn't made one of these for quite a long time, so I just wanted to say thank you, Yoli, for uh, just a reminder about these and um, just the reminder of the measurements because I probably wouldn't have remembered how to do it. So uh, anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I think that's all I have to share today. So I have some Christmas gifts I'm going to probably share in a different video and then um, an unusual rack that I received, which... And it was totally unexpected, but um, that's it for this video. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.